Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a man has been charged with murder and tampering with evidence in Breathitt County. And a Richmond homeless shelter is doing everything they can to stay open longer than usual. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gayhart. It is 4.59 on Tuesday, January 9th. And we're going to take it over to Tim Drawbridge because we could have an interesting weather day. <laughs> that is for sure, Chaz. It's a first alert weather day as we check out the live view outside our studios this morning. Wet and increasingly windy. And again, the wind advisory has been extended not only through tonight, but through 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And some of the wind gusts again could approach 50 miles per hour across the high terrain. Gusts in the valley locations exceeding 40 miles per hour. Uh, as we wake up this time tomorrow morning, the concern not wet weather, but perhaps some slick roadways as we transition over to flurries and snow showers on the overnight period. Here's the pinpoint Doppler radar. And again, where you see the yellows and the oranges here, indicative of some of the heavier rainfall across the region. As we make our way on the satellite radar composite, the rain extends all the way out toward I-64. And yes, there's some breaks in the activity, but nonetheless, here's our area of low pressure. There is the colder air and the reason why everything transitions over to flurries and snow showers heading through tonight. Here are the, some of the latest wind gusts. And again, gusts will continue to increase as we head through the rest of today and during the course of tomorrow. So your plan are for the rest of your Tuesday periods of rain. Some of the rain will be heavy at times, easing up your showers as we hit through the afternoon. Yes, some breaks of sunshine will allow us to get into the low and mid 50s for afternoon highs. We've got another first alert weather day coming up later this week. But when? Your first alert seven day forecast coming up in a few moments. Back to you, Chas. Thank you, Tim. Police charged a Breathitt County man with murder and tampering with physical evidence. Fairly Napier was charged in connection to the disappearance of Joni Campbell. Kentucky State Trooper Matt Gayhart says the missing persons case led them to the property Napier was logging on. Troopers responded out there, located the burnt vehicle, uh, matched the description of the one Miss Campbell had been operating. Um, we also located uh, human remains inside the vehicle as well. Gayhart says while evidence points towards Campbell being the victim, there is not positive identification yet. Napier is being lodged at the Kentucky River Regional Jail. The National Weather Service Office has issued a wind advisory for the majority of Central, South Central, and Eastern Kentucky. With parts of the state expecting 50 plus mile per hour winds, Kentucky Electric Cooperatives are doing their best to prepare for things such as this strong wind. The broken branches that are already on the trees to come down first. Then we expect in the areas where maybe the ground is soft, if you get the biggest wind gusts that come through, even healthy trees to come down on power lines. And then we expect, you know, we have to be prepared for what weather happens after that so we can then work safely in those conditions to be able to restore power as quickly as possible. The winds could also impact those traveling by plane in the coming days. Experts say horizontal winds, also known as crosswinds, that are above 30 to 40 miles per hour are generally prohibitive of takeoff and landing for air travel, leading to the potential for delays as well. For Kentucky's homeless population, bitterly cold days can be challenging. Jamie Jordan of the Madison Home in Richmond says they tend to see numbers pick up as the winter days become more numbered. Madison Home is extending their daily winter operations from the typical March 15th to March 30th. Our winter does not stop in Kentucky when we would like it to. We have found that even last year we were going a couple of more weeks on an emergency basis. And so this year we made a different decision and we said, let's just go ahead and plan on going through March 30th. We're probably going to do it anyway. Better to go in uh, with some advance notice. As an organization rooted in faith, Jordan says the Madison House is a testament to what happens when the community rallies behind those in need. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, we'll take a closer look at the premiere of a new Mean Girls movie.
and the pinpoint Doppler radar early on this Tuesday morning active. Some of the rain is heavy at times. We'll step you through hour by hour with your first alert seven day forecast. That's all coming up right after this.